Okay, now for more on the ongoing trade talk and trade issues between the world's two largest economies, I'm joined by Joe Minerick. He is the Senior Vice President and Director of Research at the Committee for Economic Development. Joe, thanks very much for joining us. Happy to be here. Let's talk about what we saw in the U.S. this morning. The market started off in the red, and then once word of this talk filtered out and that both sides were talking, we saw a rebound. What do you read into that? Should we read too much, or is that a very positive sign? Well, of course, we're early on in these conversations, and uh, we haven't heard anything really concrete about how well the negotiators are going, get, getting along, not to mention the fact that at the end, this is going to go up to the very highest level. But the fact is that this is an important negotiation for the United States. It's important for China. And uh, good news coming out of it is going to be uh, taken as very highly favorable for equity markets and for the two economies. And it's good that the two sides are sitting down face to face once again. Now, it's relatively... I don't want to say low-level meeting, but as you mentioned, it's going to go to the highest levels. What do you make about the fact that Liu He showed up today? He is key to China's economic development. Uh, the fact that he showed up today, it's certainly getting a lot of press. Well, anything that shows an investment in the outcome of the negotiation and that shows that it is considered to be important is going to be positive. So, yes, it's good news. and. Uh, likely we'll see uh, some positive feedback from that as we move, move along the next few days. One thing we have heard from both sides, the Trump administration has repeatedly said that this ongoing trade war is going to hurt China's economy more than it's going to hurt the United States. I recently came back from more than four weeks in China, and we heard kind of the same thing over there. And today, the foreign ministry uh, talking about it just a bit. I don't want to say who's winning, who's losing, but this isn't good for anyone, and it's certainly not good for the global economy. What do you see about this tit-for-tat, we're doing better, you're doing better, that kind of thing? Well, of course, it's not we're doing better, it's we're doing less worse. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it, this is almost like a knife fight where both people are cut, and one of them says, well, I'm losing less blood than you are. Uh, you know, it, it does raise the question, why are we playing this game in the first place. We certainly could have done better uh, if we had not gone through this uh, mutual bloodletting. Yeah, absolutely. And you talk about not going through this. Why did it get to this? I was reading, I was going through research today, and I read one story, and the lead was something to the effect of both sides need something they can live with, which I thought, yeah. well, that's, that's stating the obvious. Yeah. But what is it going to take, in all honesty, for both sides to walk away from this and declare they got what they wanted, and, and just as important, saving face. Yeah, it's, it's, it, this is a very difficult process any time with any two partners, because there will always be, you have to give to get. Uh, and when you give on either side, you're going to have some interest, you're going to have to be able to get along with, to reconcile with when you go back home. So that makes it tricky. Now, at the end of the day, we always say that uh, increasing trade, reducing uh, tariff rates, reducing barriers is good for both sides in aggregate. The problem is for us, and I'm sure for China as well, there will be winners and losers. You know, it's interesting because the Trump administration, as you mentioned, said, you know, we can, we can hold out longer than China. But if you, I mean, I've traveled around, I've talked to farmers, I've talked to some uh, industry leaders, and they want to see this over. Do you think that that message is getting out to the people who need to hear it? It's, if this goes on, as this goes on, those affected industries and uh, actors are going to be hurting more and more and more. And that will begin to be heard uh, more strongly. Uh, and if we get into a situation where each side says, I can hold out longer than you are, the pain on each side is really going to become intense. Real quickly, just a few seconds, what is it going to take to move this forward? And do you see it ending if you think about the fact that Trump is saying, I may impose more sanctions on you in just a few months? They are going to have to come to realize that they are sacrificing they're, they're making sacrifices that are unnecessary. These are two sets of self-inflicted wounds, and there needs to be a conversation at a positive level. One of the problems that we've got when we look at that, though, is we do have a president of the United States who calls himself tariff man. That's, that's worrisome.
You don't want to have that T on your chest. <laughs> Joe Minerick, thanks very much. I greatly appreciate the insight.